Hi everybody, this is Wine 102 this time. And uh, the reason is, we have a classic, classic wine that I wanna share with you. Um, it's a Chardonnay, 100%. It's out of the Napa Valley. And you may have heard of it because this has historic value. Uh, I picked this wine because of the historic value and I recently found out that an old high school friend of mine, first name Leon, no last names, uh, works there. He's a tasting manager, he's retirement, and uh, he got the gig. So what a great gig to live in Napa and be a tasting manager, maybe he's the assistant manager, I'm not sure, of a great iconic winery, Chateau Montalegna. Anyway, the reason we picked the Chardonnay is because this is the wine that put the Napa Valley on the worldwide map. Before, was, Napa Valley wasn't thought of as a great wine producing area. It was all about Europe and France. Well, in 1976, they had a tasting. It's called the Judgment of Paris. And in the Judgment of Paris, there was <clears throat> 10 French and California Chardonnays in, in this blind tasting. So all blind, nobody knew what they were tasting. All these French judges. And this California Chardonnay, out of the nine judges, six of them voted this one number one. Gave it the highest score. And when they found out about it, they couldn't believe it. Well, of course, when that got back to the States, that was a great deal. And that put Napa Valley, California wines, on the worldwide map. Now, the winemaker, uh, you might have heard of him also, is Mike Gergic, uh, was from Croatia. He was a young winemaker, and he actually made this wine. And then, I think a couple years later, he went on to start his own winery, Gergic, Gergic Wines. Um, the price, the release price of this fantastic 19, uh, 1973 Chardonnay was $6.50 back in the day and had 13.2% alcohol. So this one, the 2016, which I have, is uh, over $50 and the, one, the alcohol is similar at 13.6%. So not a lot of difference. Um, I screwed it up. That's all right, Morgan. We're, we're low budget here. We got Morgan on the camera. The guy from New York, you already know Morgan. He gets around wines and he gets all flustered. <laughs> anyway, so this wine now, it's not total estate wine. Uh, the one in 73, uh, I have a breakdown. 39% came from Alexander Valley. These are over in Sonoma. 35% uh, Russian River Valley. 23% from Napa, Oak Hill, Oak Knoll region. And only 3% from Calistoga, which is where the, act, the winery actually is. So it was, a, it was a blend of Chardonnays from the whole region, which is even more unusual and fantastic that it beat all those French uh, Chardonnays which they call them white burgundies. Anyway, we're gonna give it a whirl. It's got four years worth of age. Pretty good for a Chardonnay. Cork rolled downhill. You okay, Morgan? Yeah. Yeah, okay. didn't get hit. Okay, flying corks. That's why the screw tap is advantageous. You just put it right back on. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. 2016, Chateau Montalegna, 100% Chardonnay. Whew, yep. Got a little color there, a little yellow color. Wow. It's got some body to it. This is no, this is no weak Chardonnay. 50 bucks. <laughs> hey, Leon, you think you can get me a deal? <laughs> I 
Let me get another sip of this. Wow. Smooth. Smooth as a baby's butt. Isn't that, is that the way to say Morgan? Yeah. <laughs> Correct. A uh, little bit of acidity. Uh, not a lot of uh, oak or buttery. It's got some. I'm not sure about the how long it's spent in oak or anything like that, but it's very pleasant. And uh, it's a good overall wine. But the thing about it is it's historic. One of the oldest wineries in California, 1892, I believe, Chateau Montalena, put the, put the Napa Valley and California wines on the worldwide map. Cheers. <laughs>